live again. It's good to see you guys. Here, let's uh, do that. I see Patty in the chat, and uh, it's important to note that Patty made us a new, like, live stream intro. That purple thing that I just played, he, uh, he made a new version of that that I'm gonna switch to here soon. I was gonna add some effects to it, and I did add some effects to one before, but I can't find the video file now. Yeah, uh, Dago, it's good to see you. Sorry that I took like a three week break from streaming. Um, whenever wrestling stuff comes up, um, <laughs> it always takes up a lot of my time. And we had the biggest show for Relentless uh, Wrestling here in Washington uh, at the Northern Quest Casino in Spokane. Um, it was just a, a, a huge production. And that took a lot of uh, a lot of my time and energy, <laughs> so I was doing that. And then WrestleMania was this uh, weekend, and um, that took up a lot of my time <laughs> and energy. <laughs> um, but now should be able to get back to our reg regularly scheduled program here. Uh, the reason I did, and Nikki, by the way, thank you for becoming a member again. I did see that, and it's good to see you. Excuse me. Um, I chose not to do a Fallout game because I knew I was going to start streaming late tonight. And um, I figured, like, some people come to the Starfield streams, but not as many as, like, a New Vegas or a Fallout 4 stream. So I figured we could have a chill ease back into it. We're going to start... Um, more Telltale games and like those types of games because I, I have a bunch of the, those horror games too. I forget what the fuck they are. I could actually look at them right now. What the fuck are they called? They're in a series. You guys probably know. The Dark Pictures Anthology. Um, I grabbed all of those because people suggested that they wanted to see those horror games on stream. Um, I also have The Quarry, which is in the same vein. Um, we have Red Dead 2 to continue uh, 100%ing. And a whole lot of things that I'd like to stream. And new ways that I'd like to make videos. So, we're going to be going... You're, are you playing a... So I'm playing... Oh, Starfield right now, but Star Wars modded. There's Star Wars mods? Did you find those on the Nexus? Because that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to have to look into that. I didn't know though any of those existed. Let me see. Starfield mods. Oh, they have all kinds of shit. I haven't even looked at the mods because I figured they hadn't been like really released yet. Um, and I guess I could share this screen, but real quick, I'm uh, I, you never know what's gonna pop up on Nexus. This is the problem. I could turn off adult content to be safe, but I don't want to be like, hey, how's it going? It's like Starfield sex mod buttholes and bandits or whatever and it's just really graphic sexual pictures it's the last thing i want <laughs> that, that happens with like fallout 4 and skyrim you're just, you're just chilling scrolling through and you know god bless them the people that like those mods and want to add them they're not really for me uh, <laughs> so it's like <laughs> but i don't like hiding a, a, adult mods because uh sometimes people count things as like adult content that i don't necessarily consider uh, you know, adult content. I'm not seeing... Oh, there's one right there. Voluptuous body for beauties. New proportions for female characters in Star uh, Starfield. Um, I'm not seeing any Star Wars, so I'm going to search Star Wars. Oh, shit. Okay, here. Hold up. I'm, I'm just uh, vetting the page real quick just to be safe. It's like Star Wars titties and dicks mod. All right. We're good. Okay, it looks like we're good. Forgive me if we're not. Here, I'll switch it over now. Um, let, <laughs> shit, okay. So, there's a Greedo companion mod, Stormtroopers, Han Solo, Lando. There's a lot of in like uh, ship mods. Ooh, Darth Vader outfit. Oh, shit. That's kind of baller, I'm not gonna lie. That's, uh... That's fucking dope! 
<laughs> That's fucking amazing. These are good. I'm looking at the chat here. Uh, I have not played Kinshi. Uh, dude, I am ter- Well, I've- I've- I might have turned it on and checked it out, but I'm fucking terrible at Souls types. Uh, like, Souls- Souls games? Like, the, those types of- I'm pretty sure Kinshi's one of them, isn't it? I may be thinking of a different game, but, uh, dude, I just get my ass handed to me in those games. Um... Dude, there's some really cool looking Star Wars models. I'm not even a, like, super big Star Wars guy or anything. But, um, it's always cool, like, I don't know, it's a good mix, it's a good fit. Oh, uh, Mr. Red Eyes, I'm sure, you know, once mods start really getting, uh, support from Bethesda with Starfield, they'll, they'll likely make their way to consoles, too. So, no worries there. Um, alright, let's... We're gonna do this, we'll cut the music, anybody who's wondering what this is... Um, I can just show it here. You can find this album, Vermilion Sunrise, on Spotify like it is here. Apple Music, anywhere you stream music. Um, I have the back, I use these for background music. Um, and so I just decided, hey, let's put them up on, uh, Spotify. I also have Mantis Sings Fallout, which is a compilation of me, uh, covering songs from the Fallout games. Check those out if you're interested, uh... Uh, it was, it was fun little projects and, uh, uh, you know, some people are into that kind of thing. So, and everybody always says, hey, what music is this? So if you want to know what song this is, it's Golgotha, named after, uh, the Fallout 2 location. Um, <laughs> uh, here on Vermilion Sunrise. All right, anyway. Starfield it is. Um, see, look, I got a bunch of games for you guys. We did Wolf Among Us, so I have, uh, The Walking Dead... Um, we have those old LucasArts, I would love to do Fahrenheit, um, Indigo Prophecy, that's a fucking good game, underrated game, um, we have those Dark Pictures games, um, I thought there was another Telltale game, just, they're, they're not really available anymore, I have most of them on Series X, so I know I can play them on there, so when we do, uh, once I rearrange shit and I'm able to just stream from the console, uh, we'll be able to do, like, Back to the Future and, like, all those classic ones. Anyway, you guys would probably want me to start playing fucking Starfield not, since we're ten minutes into a Starfield stream. I'm just sitting here goofing around. Uh, the Mr. Red Eyes, the uh, songs of me singing Fallout, I believe, is uploaded to YouTube. And they're, they're also on YouTube Music on their own, like, separate, you know, it's like a TKS Mantis topic channel. Um, because that gets distributed through the publisher when you release your music that way. Fail forward a lot in Kinshi, I see. <laughs> I should try Bi uh, Bioshock. I've played a little bit of it. Uh, never really got into it. It'd be something... That I would uh, like to do, yeah, Dick Lord, man. I always name my character either Max Chatter, Dick Lord. So um, this has been a really sporadic stream series. Um, I haven't streamed a whole lot of this run. Um, so we got the Mantis armor, of course. Uh, we're level thirty-seven. Um, right now I'm doing the Free Star Collective quest line. Um, I've already done. This, I don't even know why this is still here. I guess I just didn't finish it. Maybe there's more evidence to bring uh, to her. But, um, there's some of the activities that we could do. But, uh, oh, here's all my completed quests. So you can see what we've mainly done here a lot. <laughs> so, we will be, uh, continuing that trend, making sure I don't have any skill points. I don't. My opinion on the next gen Fallout 4 update, dude, I would love to see it. <laughs> like, uh, it gives me a reason to play through Fallout 4 again. I love playing through Fallout games, so. Private sector. I'm Back. down. That's why, uh, when it was leaked that there was like a Fallout 3 remaster and like an Oblivion remaster coming, I was stoked because it was like, oh, an excuse to play through these games again, uh, even better than before, you know, so. Everything good? Is Starfield worth buying on stream? No. I enjoy Starfield a lot. Um, some people don't, uh, and there's definite 
there's there's definite like huge rooms for improvement when it comes to Starfield, but I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, I guess I could recommend it on sale because, like, the first review I gave of Starfield, I was like, this is a fucking hey, one of the best games me. Bethesda's ever made. I did mention some shortcomings, but I was like, you know, these are fine. Um, but then a lot of people were the like, hey, you fucking... Right. Always praising two <laughs> you, you, you fucking mis, like, misled people into buying this fucking game just because Bethesda gave it to you early. And then I was like, oh, fuck, okay. So now I, like, try to explain that, like, there's very, very, um, proper reasons that people have to dislike, lar you know, swaths of this game, but I think that overall it's a good experience, and I've, I've enjoyed coming hey, back to it. I, I have 200 hours in it. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled Yeah, Nekavandre there uh, Alas, gave a. I'll have to experience it vicariously through you correct. and the other rangers. So in my opinion, cool. I agree with that useful? take. Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Deal. You're counting on me. Fallout you know 4 in space? Yeah, you, that, right? uh, that's Please and apt. thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. How's the audio, by the way? I usually ask you guys. Nobody said anything, so I'm guessing that the audio is all right. Yeah, hey there, I, I would have liked more choice as well, Red Eyes, when it comes to, like, joining factions and being able to immerse yourself in them. Where are we fucking going here? Back to this... No, okay. I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that shit? Well, that was Hulk close to saying it right. My mistake. Okay, I think I said Nekavandre, so is it Nikavon Nikavandre? Am I saying a fucking is it, am I am I correcting the wrong part? Oh the audio is succulent. Okay, that's good. A succulent audio stream. Glad you got a chance to meet him. And thank you guys for Sounds letting me know like the audio is real progress. Cause I can't uh, I don't I can't monitor that. Or I could, but it would throw me off. You're off to a good start, but that's oh, all. Oh, second try. That's the first. So it, it must be Nico. What did Andre. you learn okay. from the well, starship? Welcome. Thief. So much wasted potential. Yeah, it, Edgar, I can agree with that as well. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping that they stick uh, to updating it. Uh, that you know, large updates every. I think that's what they might have said every six months, but still, that's uh pretty good. <laughs> as long as we're getting updates. And then they have DLC coming for it. Well done, deputy. Sounds Not all like modders gave up on this game. A team, a team of modders did indeed be say I that you know, like, now nah, fuck this. Ideas. You know, I'm not going to waste my time with it. But I served with teach their own. You know, I, I like I said, He's I enjoy it. But. Genius and an expert hacker. Oh wow, you enjoyed the or we can go straight to Tim Kane interview? Next yeah, uh, he's fucking awesome. <laughs> he's my fa he's literally my favorite person I've been in the video game industry. Hands down favorite. Uh, and we text all the time now, which is like fucking wild to me. So like every I like I, not all the time, but like it's not like we're texting today or whatever, but like I like we've text back and forth and it's like fucking wild to me that that's a thing that's happened in my life. Like what? Do I know anything about pre-built PCs? Uh, I usually buy pre-built PCs, so that's, uh, I mean, that's because I don't have a lot of knowledge about PC development and, like, what to do with them, and I don't trust myself to do it myself. Uh, I buy pre-built. Like, I have an Alienware down here. Still with me? And if you're wondering about, like, if it, like, like, my specs down there, the Alienware that I got, I just maxed everything out the best I could, gathered my money to really like 
really go for a PC. And it runs video games fucking fantastically. Any video game I throw at it, it runs amazingly. But I have problems with audio recording. I have problems with uh, other things that like I kind of need for my job. Audio recording being the biggest one. So I end up using a laptop to record my audio. And so it's uh, like, I don't know if that's an Alienware problem. Maybe it's just my PC. I don't know. Maybe like my settings are weird, but I checked my settings. Audacity helped it. And it was, I, I don't know. It was, it was weird. Anyway, uh, but when it comes to just running video games, You're this thing drifting. is a fucking beast. And that's pretty much my knowledge of pre-built computers. It's like, you max it out and it's going to be pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like a, uh, I'm pretty dumb with that stuff. Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. Yeah, it's good so to it's see you. How do you say that? I've seen, to keep a low I've seen him talk to you before. Ax Ranger uh, Ben Armistead is posted there. Hopefully I'll send I'm him an that, update right. on the situation. Yeah. Wow. See, I was worried about that, and so I was just like, oh, you know, I'll max everything out. And then, like, uh, when after I got the Alienware, like, I go online to, like, see reviews of the computer, and one of the fucking top things everybody's saying is, like, Oh, well, you only have, like, this much breathing room for your 4090, and that's a problem, apparently, and, uh, ap apparently that can become a problem. I don't know. I haven't really seen, I don't know. There's little problems with this, but overall, it's the best computer I've ever had, obviously. Um, I'd like to get a dedicated streaming and, like, production computer, and then save this as just running games until, you know, it, it should last me a couple of years before it, it, it really Am starts get, feeling old. You? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Yeah, my laptop can run games decently, is, too. It's a, it's a pretty a beastly rack. laptop, but it's not, like, crazy. Based on what you've learned, Spent, like, I a grand on it. Funneling his and I, I always feel like, first. and correct me if I'm wrong, Ranger PC Autumn guys out there, is out at Red Mile if you put the money right now, into it, and though I feel like with Alienware, and a lot of my friends I told me afterwards, your resources. Um, just remember, a lot of what I paid for was probably the name Alienware, so mine was probably more expensive than it should have been. So, there's Your that too. But to I feel like, for the most part, the you get what you pay for. What are they planning? Who are they working Oxiel. for? Oxiel. Okay. Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to the Yeah. Elite. Nika, that's they what that, that's what I was assuming. I was like, I don't think I'm really going to tax words, this thing too much. And by the time welcome. it does get taxed, I'll so probably be, be looking to get a new one. Good hunting, deputy. Anyway, you know, so... Oh, did we finish? Wait, did we finish that? Are we going to the Red Mile? But this ship is starting to feel no. like home. The clinic, okay. Oh, let's go! See? Punishment, that's exactly what I'm fucking afraid of. I am a clumsy, stoned, like, <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm not one to be trusted trying to build a PC, is what I'm trying to get at. How are you doing? Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy. See, that's the good thing with the pre-build here. Been everything fucking works, or my money back. In the loop in or a new one comes, you know what I mean? Like, and everything works, and everything like that. There's just some internal fuckery. Um, yes. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers? And yeah, the punishment is just, mm. And so a lot of my friends are like, oh no, it's super easy. And I'm like, dude, it's like a foreign language to me. I know nothing about that shit. Nothing about it. Well, 
every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, Deputy. All right, let's do it. Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. For the old walking too slow, walking Most too fast the staff game. Most don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hard to make working? sure those samples get disposed of. Hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you and Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. Got it. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the Good observation, Nika. Don't all games have that walking speed problem? Not all of them. And this one could be fixed if I was using a using my controller I could like you know tip the analog stick probably enough but uh I don't feel I, I don't feel like all of them have that problem but Bethesda all Bethesda games definitely do former soldier huh yeah, they say war changes people forever makes me sad the thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore hmm the name's not ringing any bells but Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. Okay. You catch my Ben nodding off. Give him a good snack for me. Okay. The man means well, but he's just so tired. So if we see Ben okay. punch him Give in the fucking face. <laughs> Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. You could have talked to me sitting down. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace... What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. Sweet. Catalina Riviera. Catalina Riviera. I don't care about that. Alright. You gotta gain entry to the VIP wing. You're pro UC though? Yeah, I like the United Colonies. Uh, honestly, between the Freestar and the United Colonies, there's, there's not enough for me to... Uh, 
you appear. Yes. To feel like either one is really in the wrong about their their views on things. Quantity of water. I'm sorry, but we don't permit unscheduled visitors to that area. You'll need to ask whoever it is that you wish to visit to make arrangements with me. Who exactly are you? Deputy Dick Lord, at your service. You could be Solomon Co himself, and my answer would be the same. Oh, I should have. No. I should have brought Sam with me. Rules, Maybe he'd be no starstruck. Oh my goodness. Are we really going to let this bureaucrat block our progress? <sighs> Fuck. I'm a busy man. I wish I would have so saved beforehand. Damn, and he has a lot of them. I suppose if you were quick and quiet, it wouldn't disrupt anything. You want me Fuck. to risk my standing here for a favor I might never need? I think not. That All right, we did it, boys. We did it, boys. Somewhat. All right, hey, Connor, good to see you. I can see there's no dissuading you. I suppose I could make an exception just this once. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. Okay. I don't know why it didn't count Nikki's membership, by the way. Nikki, if you're still in the chat, uh, it didn't count you as a member. It didn't show up in my uh, Streamlabs log, but I imagine that eventually it will. I'm just, uh, I'm sorry that it didn't. Oh, fuck. Wrong way. I can't imagine suffering from something no one understands. It must be terribly frightening for them. Hey, we're VIPs now. Stopping at the clinic to do a bit of Xeno research, eh? Oh shit! Count. The fuck is going on here? Um, I feel like this is an overkill weapon for what we're doing. Okay, so <laughs> succulent. Get it? Like the Chinese meal. Okay, that'll count as stealing, so we're not gonna do that. All right. So I'm looking for clues, please. Oh, shit. I mean, the fucking mine under the bed wasn't a clue. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna sack her off. Oh my god, with these mines. Watch out, Sarah. Holy shit. Let me guess, I can't fucking fast travel. Okay. Notice the couples in Fallout 4 sleep in separate beds as opposed to in 3 when they actually sleep in the same bed. Uh, no. I I have never noticed that. Oh, probably fine. If I had, I had forgotten. <laughs> Interesting. Let's, uh, fucking go. Took away my engine speed again. Concern it. They don't fly into the asteroid, please. Well, that's always good. Thanks, Sarah. That's why I married you.
the fuck? More of these fucking things. That might not be the same thing I thought it was. It didn't seem like it was very accurate to me. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Boys, we're in the fucking thick of it now. Damage all systems. You have anything valuable? like an enormous geode. Crystalline formations like this are incredibly rare. Why if this place was abandoned? We're gonna I'm switch. Oh shit. Well, overkill got it is. the eclipse today in my area no <laughs> in my area it was it was barely an eclipse it wasn't a very high percentage and then also there was a lot of clouds so I wasn't really able to see anything that it threw at me shit okay I didn't even notice how low my health was. Have half gravity in here. Look at these mines. A shard hopper. Yeah, Nico. Yeah. Couldn't see the eclipse. Fuck it. I'll play my space game. No, it looked cool from uh, a lot of the videos I saw online, though. It looked neat. Damn, we're going deep.
it's on the direct path. Catastrophic damage. What the hell is that thing? Yeah, there was some pretty good shots of it for the people that got to see the totality, like... It looked pretty fucking cool. The Eclipse, that is. Still no direct path. Where is the marker? Up there. She's gonna fuck me up or not, so let's uh let's see what we got here. Okay. This might be pretty good. Let's uh let's try to rush her with melee. Oh, it works. It was super effective. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. Uh, how about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's what do you think, chat? As it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. <sighs> well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you learn something useful. Now get out of here. And leave me in peace. Right. Oh, okay, fine. That's a lot of money. Six billion dollars was made in America based on the eclipse. Shit, man. Who's making that money? <laughs> oh, I could just... Fucking actually leave. Oh. I'm in combat, apparently.
Paddy Dunn did it, I think, uh... I think it's more about the wonders of the universe than it is the shade. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, fucking great idea. Let's just try doing it from here. Oh my god. Alright guys, we're out. We're fucking out of here. Yeah, the glasses make sense. Merchandise, celebrities, social media. Don't know the science guy hosting an event. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. This is adding up. Oh, shit. Yeah, wow. Uh, Vault Tech is who made that money. If we're planning on staying a while, we could grab a room at the Stone Root Inn. I know I'm not gonna need to blow my nose. Fuck it. Whenever spring starts, allergies start, my nose just itches and fucking goes crazy all the time, so I do apologize for messing with it the whole time. You know I went to chef's school? Well, yes, that's pretty dope. Have I heard about Fallout Gate? No, I haven't heard about that. Well, hey there. Welcome to the Rock, I guess. New deputy. Honored to have you. Might be well, it's like, it's hard weird, work, every time I breathe sure in my nose, it's like a tickle out of my nose. I want to make sure I don't have like a fucking booger hanging out of my nose on stream. So then you like constantly mess with it. Then you can't breathe. Helga says I spent too much time at my terminal. She's probably right. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. All right. Oh, so this would send us to the Red Mile. We already have an activity to go there as well. Yeah, Patty makes a good point, even though this is not what was said. Um, but there, there should be many more 
Right, there should be a, a lot of uh, future Rama references in this game. It'd be really nice. <laughs> Fucking, let's uh, let's get some future Ramas in here. Hey, what's going on? Okay. Let's see, local times. So let's uh. Let's, uh, camp out here for a minute. You replaced the beer cams with Slurm? Oh my god. So you guys are getting fucking great mods, and I haven't been checking those out at all. Please tell me not to go to make us run the Red Mile. <laughs> well, the Red Mile, folks, here we are. Here we are. I'm on duty, so get the hell out of my face. Oh, just the thought of landing at the Red Mile was making me sick. Now that we're here, I'm almost at a loss for words. Don't think Sister or the Rangers will help you if you get in trouble out here. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Too late now. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, it is telling me to go this way. Wait, don't shoot me! I didn't do anything wrong! Bullshit. You didn't think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. Yeah, wow. Well, you're right. You can ask for yourself. <laughs> he sure is. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough, stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about no, this. Be getting sick. I can't wait. Alright. Stay in line, and we won't have a problem. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, is this the pit? I'm yeah, it's it seems like it's pretty close to it. Wonderful. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Look, both of you are here for the same. Who knows where Sarah is? So why don't you drop the tough girl charade and learn to work as a team? And I'm telling you, I don't have time to babysit rookies. Yeah, well, you're here now, so we'll just have to make it work. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Okay, let's do it. Follow me. I don't know where Sarah is. May fortune smile on you today. Oh, more evidence. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, as usual, agree with you, Patty. This is not a succulent strip joint at all.
<laughs> yeah, Patty. Try it out. Pass it around. The stuff will catch on fast. Ecliptic will love it. Trust me. How much you want back to the king? Don't tell the cattle. He can blow this throat out of his airlock. We aren't buying. Okay. Okay. Three boxes. Heck, I'll throw in the fourth for free. Huh? You can't beat that deal, right? Oh, I can't believe people who participate in blood sports can possibly be considered celebrities or heroes. Oh, in my mind, they're worse than criminals. We're gonna have to come on, sit. send Sarah to the so ship or something. Um, who are you? If we run the red mile, it sounds like. Is that so? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? There wasn't a gambling gambling planet? Well, isn't there... That's weird. I can't even think of any gambling that we can find in the game, now that I think about it. And yeah, I'm... I'm very ready for the creation kit to come out. Wow. Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. And he started moving in on my territory. Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but well, I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place. Yeah, for Nika, long. you're right. The good news is I know how to find him. But you're not going to tell us yet because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. Oh my god. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Oh, there, yeah, that's right, the casino ship, yeah. But you can't gamble there yourself, yeah, it's all fucked up. You're right, because you can get the jackpot by looting it. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. Yeah, Johnny, it's uh, unlikely that a lot of people know I can you. see what you mean, for sure. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. All right. It's your call to make. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Will you? Okay. Then let's do this. I bet you Sarah's gonna be pissed when I go and try to do this. You're really going to take on the mile, huh? Here's the basket, my boy. Hello. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking respite from the burdens of life? My name is May. And I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Hell yeah, I'm familiar. Well, of course you are. How could you miss hearing about the Settled System's most exciting sporting event? Why even people from the most backwoods systems like Seoul have heard of hey, the calm Red down Mile? Now. 
with it's you. my home system. I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. As, uh, In uh, all of yours as well. Please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him exactly? Hmm. It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Yes. Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons and replace wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. Mission or not, I can't even imagine why you take part in such an uncivilized activity. <sighs> Thanks There's for giving me self-doubt debuff before we go into apparently something Are you brutal. Ready to begin? Good. Come Brett says it's disappointing. I don't remember it. I'm pretty sure I ran it the first time I played through. They're, they are hyping it up pretty fucking big, though. Absolutely revolting. Nobody's paying attention. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they are hyping this up quite a bit. Ooh, super gravity on this fucking thing. I definitely want to use a gun. Um, oh fuck! Just use this one. Another point for our side. Oh, we should just scan. Okay. Asshole.
thorny lizard is adorable. Yeah, I can, uh... I can agree with you on this one. Ah, damn ya. Oh my god. I'm on that puts New Vegas on Earth. Arthur Morgan, you're onto something there. Well, we're getting there. Is the game worth playing? Yeah, I, you know, honestly, I like it a lot. It's definitely a Bethesda game set in space. Like, if you like Bethesda games, uh, you'll have a good time. It definitely uh, has places it needs to improve. And I'm excited for when full mod support is offered. It didn't even seem worth the experience, honestly. There seems to be a lot of these mullers. Oh my god. This gun is not pulling its weight. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's try this one. Either. 
Um, old to earth hunting rifle. Yeah, well, there seems to be a lot of uh, Star Wars mods already coming out on Nexus. And, um... Yeah, like we were all talking about, like, once the full, like, mod support comes out, I imagine much more extensive mods are going to be released. And, uh... Fields asking if the game is good at... Yeah, like... It definitely needs work in some places, but I like it a lot. Disarmor. I'm wearing it right now. Oh, he just took it off, Not but... At all. You gonna try it again? No, I wouldn't. Nothing quite like the excitement of a run. Hey. Oh. Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. Cool. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. Yeah. You better stop messing with me. I'm not easily impressed. But you've managed to surprise me. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Yes. On a regular basis. Sure. You're back. Are you okay? Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated, or you're just that good. Yeah, anyway, CMDR. Uh, I'm, I'm doing well. I hope you are too. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad. Because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> How could you possibly... Maybe someday I can... Yeah, definitely exaggerated. No. Nico, you are correct. Now isn't the time. We need to focus on the task at hand. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. Oh, or at least fair make enough. yourself useful and get because, some uh, drinks. Because, yeah, all right, my bad. Commander classified, Tougher my mistake. Look. Don't know if it was brave or stupid. <laughs> oh, well done. Time for me to keep my promise, runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here waiting for you. Okay. All let's go. Fortuna. Setting down, everything in the green.
Wait. I'm seeing if I need a nap or not. No. Okay. Just here for a chat. Oh, it reminds you. Oh, look at the view of the. Oh, dude, I want to take a picture of that shit. Um, let's, uh. Okay. Okay, anyway. Best space wife? I know you can marry Sarah, like, uh... Can you marry Andrea, too? Whatever her name is, I, I think that's it. Bus is in the back. Well, one thing's certain, Graziani certainly isn't afraid to flaunt his wealth. Here to join the first, the best bird company there is. You're lucky to get a meeting with Marco. Whoa. Isn't this one? I think this is the guy that has Some the fucking artifact. Some of display are incredible. They belong in a museum. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, um, well, okay, let's, uh... Very interesting. Okay. Ah, uh, you should have been spaced further apart like this. Perfect. This fucking place. This is be his room or something. Right. Here's a camera pointing over there. So close. Okay. Let's try it. I have any more ones, so. We're gonna see, boys. And then where the fuck did I miss it? I must have. Right there.
you learn to pick up? You know what, on second thought, I don't want to know. Yeah, the digi pick. Yeah, I don't like digi picking at all. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah, I see. You Maybe this isn't the guy that had the artifact. My bad. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, a degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent the deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. I'm willing to bet this deputy can handle whatever you intend to throw in our path. And yeah, Lord, uh, I like the question, Sarah. Sarah Morgan. It's a pleasure to welcome you aboard, Sarah. It's clear you are a woman of refinement as well as beauty. How about we skip the compliments and move things along, shall we? Your deputy friend here could have a bright future, assuming we all keep our heads. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, deputy. You were on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. How the fuck am I supposed to guarantee that? I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. All right, Marco. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? I mean, like, maybe. If being in the first cavalry taught me anything, it's that blind loyalty gets you killed. All right, cool. Let's do it. Time you learn the same. I'm sure they had something we can use. Um, let's go. That's not the one I want to use. Wrong power, bro. Wait. Is that the one? Oh, cool, we leveled up, so... I don't have any combat things leveled up. Not yet. I'm trying to get piloting up. Not yet. Um, yeah. Uh, 
Christ, there's so many. There's so many of them on the ship. Excuse me. Where the fuck did that come from? And stay down. You've got no idea who you're messing with. To the ship? Okay. Fuck out of here. To Aquila City. Oh, uh, talking about Siege. Somebody was trying to get me to play Siege the other day, and uh, I've never really played it before, but uh, they weren't. <laughs> they, they weren't giving, <laughs> like, telling me. <laughs> telling me anything that made me want to play it. Let's put it that way. Like, uh, we're talking about how frustrating it is and how, like, uh, <laughs> like how upset they get. Um, how frustrated you get just playing it. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> That's something I want to invest in. It was good and fun, but then I also heard that you want to die when you lose. I'm proud to be helping the Free Star Rangers. Yeah, wow, that's what I'm saying. Uh, like a lot of uh, a lot of frustration comes from those kind of things that I, a lot of people were talked about. Did not mean to do that. Okay, I was gonna say I was not trying to get on the hey there, computer there. How goes the hunt for the? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then BOOM! Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted <laughs> slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Uh, here we go. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology! You go stalk your prey, and leave the rest to me, deputy. So what do we got now? Oh, time for a meeting with the marshal. Or is his name just Marshall? Like, is he a marshal and he's Marshall Blake, or is his name Marshall Blake? Sit down. It's another one of those Doc Mitchell conundrums. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you That's good started. advice there, Lord. It must be very easy for you to sit back and criticize when we've been doing all of the field work. I've done my part. Sir, so sassy. This is ranger business, so why don't you keep your mouth shut? Ooh. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you. Oh, his name's Daniel, there so it just must be Marshall Blake. Over. Marshall Daniel Blake, okay. We'll right. start with Ranger Cal We got it now. <laughs> she was grateful for your timely arrival and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. 
That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Exactly. Dealing with the council can be tough, but it comes with a badge. No need to make it harder than it already is. That's right, Dan. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. Yeah, okay. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. I sure did. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty, even when you're conducting an investigation. You got results, and that's what matters most. After we're done with all this dialogue, I'm going to uh, said you really took the jump up and uh, McMillan praised take, what a, she called take your a piss IRL and, dedication. and have a she couple of drags off of a cigarette mile, outside so you could get a meeting uh, with because Marco I also need to grab a new soda, so we're going to refresh everything and hopefully go for at least another hour or so. Um, but we're going to finish this dialogue with everybody first. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a free star ranger. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. No, I should be all right, Nika. I suppose underestimating you was his last mistake. Damn. I take a hit of jet real I quick. Thought if That's anyone the way could to do see it. Reason be Marco. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. I don't know about that. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. If I seem strict, it's because I'm protecting the integrity of the Freestar Rangers. Okay. Gotta protect that Freestar Ranger integrity. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to jump up and uh, be ready for a fight, deputy. Do a little piss break. Do. Be uh, careful, deputy. Grab another soda. Do a piss break. Have a couple drags off of a cigarette, and then um, uh, we can. Good hunting. We can continue the trek and have a good time with Starfield. Like I said, we can go for another hour or so uh, if you all are interested in that kind of thing. So thank you for being with me. Like I said, pretty sure this is the one. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, we'll be back with that in just a little bit. I'll leave you with a cut off of uh, Vermilion Sunrise. Let's do Vermilion Sunrise, the song, off Vermilion Sunrise, <laughs> uh, which you can find again on my uh, Spotify and everywhere you stream music.
Erica. We are back in action. Thank you guys for staying with me. Crack the tab on the old Mountain Dew here, and uh, we'll get fucking started. Yeah, the new... Uh... <coughs> hey, Killer Chris, good to see you. Yeah, there is a bot in there. Look at that. Um, good call, Killer Chris, and it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm going to block that bot in the Twitch chat real quick before we continue. Um, I'm doing great, Chris. It's good. It's really good to see you. Okay. I don't really know. Twitch has a weird way of uh, doing that. But anyway, yeah, we had a bot in the Twitch chat. I was just taking care of that real quick, everyone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I enjoyed the smoke. It was all right. Under serious resistance. It's kind of raining outside. But uh, we're back. You've made good progress. Thank you. But uh, yeah, Killer Chris, I hope you, uh, I hope you're doing well. If I didn't say that already. So we're going to a different planet. Might as well just fucking go there. Yes. Yes. Where to next? Finally, some action. Oh, okay. Fuck. Let's do this then. We've lost grab jump. Grab jump offline. Oh shit, I didn't realize my grab jump system. Take it out. Oh, I don't even have any uh Parts. Shit. That's not good. Quit shooting at me, you coward. I'm hoping that they have, uh, ship parts. Oh, no. We're fucked. Come on, give me ship parts. Oh, there is ship parts. Good. Use them. Fucked. Whoops. Already got him bracketed. What? Another one? Oh no, we're fucked. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, no, we're done. Fuck, I might just pop that down to very easy for that shit. I am not trying to fucking deal with dying over and over in these ship battles right now. Doing much better now, weird. Wow, oh, shit. Get the fuck out of here. Moving to engage. Hey, Brandon, I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I'm not showing the game. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, 
Uh. <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got blown the fuck up. The first time. Then we knocked it down too very easy, and now we're doing much better. I am fucking sorry about that. Yeah, luckily my boy Killer Chris actually told me the YouTube chat seemingly agreed not to. Maybe it says it further up there. That was my mistake. Sorry about that. Amateur. Fucking amateur over here. Oh, you're watching? <laughs> From the reflection of my glasses. There you go. Well, we're back in action now. I'm so sorry about that. If that's all of them, I'll knock it back up to normal now. Because I was just using that for... The fuck? <laughs> the fucking... Ship battle there. Yeah, well, I appreciate it, Saga guy. Yeah, the OG OG mod team. That's right, Killer Chris. Uh, let's see here. I would love to loot some ship parts. Yes. He didn't really have any. Whatever. Alright. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the Star Wars mod sounds really cool. Like, especially if somebody really goes for it, you know? Yeah, we're almost to 250k on YouTube. Yeah, Killer Chris. And once I actually start fucking making videos again, maybe it'll grow even more. <laughs> I've just been working on Never one, and it's like I'm working Vegas. on another three-hour New Vegas fact video, and it's just taking up more time than I thought it would. And... But luckily, the Fallout show comes out the day after tomorrow, and um, I'll probably cover that. So, yeah, when I had under fifty sub, yeah, well, times have changed. These mechs were some of the deadliest instruments of war created by mankind. It's a relief that they've been outlawed by the Armistice. Either everyone here is missing, or dead. Marshal Blake must be getting desperate sending a lone deputy out here. But I'll give credit where it's due. You're a hell of a pilot. You came here seeking justice. It's waiting for you inside. Okay, well then, let's go. Come on now. This isn't super working out. My bad. I'm a man of action. A 
Right in the nutsack, that's right, Lord. Headshots are excellent with this gun. <gasps> Seeing what we got here. Is that lava? <laughs> uh oh. Watch out for the fucking lava. Assuming for the tombstone there. Oh, you can stealth this whole thing? That's pretty interesting. I definitely chose a different route. Switch to one of these tombstones. I know we gotta refine one. These things are alright if I remember correctly. Oh, Nukeman, you were wondering what I'm streaming next, so well, here we are. We're out here. Son of a bitch, one second. 
Yeah, well, Nuke Man, I am doing well. I hope you're doing well. I got a sudden crazy package. So we uh, had to take care of that with the old bank scratcher here. Thing pays for itself. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright. does not. It wants me to go this way. Get fucked. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Actually, a med pack in here. Take that just to be safe. Ah, <sighs> this fucking thing. Hey, hey. No, wrong way. Okay, this looks like the dance. Um... Then, uh, go ahead and drop Might that actually one. need that later, you know. It's not doing the type of damage I would have liked it to. If I'm being honest.
got him. Fuck it, let's see how it does. Uh, I guess it's mainly against robots. It does pretty good though. Oh, okay, so he's essential. Shit, 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 shit. What's going on here? All right, we're getting them. Oh, I'm out of trauma packs or whatever I had. Hot heat. Level thirty-nine though. Hello. This is all that kind of shit we can do. Grab drive more. Chemistry. Fuck it, I'm doing this. What's 3 a.m. where you're at? Yeah, it's midnight for me. It's getting late, but that's okay. Let's go talk to Paxton here. I, I can't believe it. You just took on some of the best mercenaries in the Freestar Collective and cut right through them. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag in New Atlantis. You fought because you had to, and you fought well. Don't apologize for that. More importantly, you survived. Most soldiers don't. I know, because I'm the one who led them to their death. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watched brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless. But spineless leaders gave up on us even when victory was within our grasp. That's, uh, that's pretty tough. You really want to know? Because you might not like the answer. Last chance, deputy. You can walk away right now and remain blissfully ignorant, thinking you fight for a, That's a good point, Nico. cause. But if you still want the truth, <laughs> I'll shatter that illusion for you right now. 
<laughs> we'll see about that. Not long after I started the first, I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. <laughs> I refused to work for a shadow client, so we agreed to set up a meeting. Imagine my surprise when Ron. Oh my Hope god, fucking Ron Hope. He offered me a new man. Thank you for being a member for three months. Certain farms throughout Free Star Space. Pretty wild. Sure, I did. The money was good, but the payback was the real reward. If I could avenge my you sure grunts a lot. Yeah, Survivor, you are not wrong. Eventually expose well, I just a member uh, of the council. Well, <laughs> beat him in a firefight. That, so that, my friend, is my definition of justice. He's probably pretty banged up. Don't bother. I'm gonna make this easy for you, deputy. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon in hand, no compromise, no fear. But first, here, take this. Use it to cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. Oh, and Nukeman gifting a membership. <laughs> that blue come. donkey has received welcome to a tribe called Mantis. So. I appreciate you, Nukeman, and now my Hell yeah, blue donkey. And I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Goodbye, deputy. We got him, boys. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, we're off to confront Ron Hope, voiced by Wes uh, Johnson, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, A, that's the right name, and B, uh, that's Keep who I'm talking about, who voiced uh, Sheer Gorath in uh, The Shivering Isles. Many characters in it's many Bethesda town, games. But these are good people. Yeah, watch out for that zombie DLC survivor. Dust except for the factory. Well, I went the wrong way again. Where the fuck is he? Usually he's way up top, did I? There's one way to do it. I guess we can end our poll now, too. With 40% saying they enjoyed it, 21% saying no, they didn't enjoy it, and 39 saying they haven't played it. That is uh, your guys' review on your experience with Starfield. That's very generous, Mr. Hope. It's well earned, Burnett. Just keep it We open. set some ambitious goals. You met every one of them. Well... I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news, whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. Those jackasses on line A are gonna be the death of me. Hey, bucko. Good to see you again. Well, I've just received a report from the Marshal. About your progress. He said you had a promising lead on mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news? Did you now? Well, don't keep me in suspense. The disgraced war hero who went to prison 
You actually believed him? That two-faced bastard kept the slate. Oh, Good I fuck, Topes. Good fuck. This is his revenge against the Council of Governors for what happened during the war. <laughs> I'm impressed, Dead. Yes, yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure. Same it's voice actor. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Birgit. In fact, why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. Yeah. Uh, the cards are on the table. So why not? The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. Oh. <laughs> and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything, turns out, a fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content. Oh, I didn't even see that. Tenfold. Uh, Tachanka, Tachanka, how are you say it? Lord, that you were gaslighting me. I didn't we even, I didn't even notice you say that up there. Steads. But, uh, and yeah, I did tell you, my dude. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits so Oh my god, a succulent Chinese so meal, snow cone. That sounds delicious. And you ended up reaping profits. How can you even live with yourself? It's nothing personal. It's just good business. I don't expect you to understand. I never intended for anyone to be hurt. I told Hull to buy the land, not take it by force. Unfortunately, farmers can be stubborn folk. And I couldn't risk any witnesses. Hey, crazy gamer, have I can't a good night. I believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so, so awful to innocent people, to families? Not another word out of you, Birgit. I can take your job, and more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owners. Like I said, I give you my word. I doubt it. Besides, the work was just about done. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. Yeah, Sarah will probably divorce me if I accept his 20,000 credits. Of course you do. But first, take a moment to consider the big picture. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about hey, this, Nacho, good to see you. you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families Suffer? This fucking guy. Justice can be complicated, deputy. Sometimes the cost of exacting justice is greater than the cost of doing nothing. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation this company or the people 
who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not this actually fucking guy. threatening to attack a free star ranger, are you? You're a despicable man, Hope. And I hope you get exactly what you deserve. I could attack him. Oh, there's only two attacks. I'm not gonna keep his secret. You just threatened a member of the Council of Governors. On my authority, you're stripped of rank, declared an outlaw. Guards! Dispose of this criminal. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. What's she got? Ah, uh, almost made it. Alright, Birgit. He... He tried to have you killed. I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries... It was so awful. Yeah, Lord, it seems to be the only two choices. I was hoping I'd be able to persuade him, but eh. the first part is sometimes true. he can't do that. In life. He always looked out for us, for his employees. Patty, okay, kill him, dude. Dumb and Dumber is one of my favorites. I know what I just heard and saw, but he was a friend. No, he was more like a father, and now he's you. You killed him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means yeah, we're just killing unnormal. someone who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> what happens to us now? That's... That would be Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. You'll be alright. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. There might be some difficult days ahead. But I wish you good luck. Yeah, that Mockingbird song, top two. That was a pretty sweet movie you pulled there back at the diner. Where'd you learn that? Oh, it's a l movie I saw a lifetime. <laughs> also, what happened? Guy paid for his tab and they got away scot free. No. Cut up a mile down the road, and slit their throats. <laughs> it was a good one. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, Dumb and Dumber. Exquisite cinema there. That bank robbery sounded intense. Thank you for the live reacts. Good to see you back safe, deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Yes. Damn, you've got guts of steel. 
Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? What? Ron Hope? That's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council. My wife worked at a breakfast restaurant. So he can make laws for a couple of years. Business interests. And every once in a while I go in there for sure, breakfast. He's known to look after and she had like regular customers really and stuff think like he that, gives right? A damn and about some farmers on she was <laughs> Did Hope walking by giving people like, you know, doing her fucking job, like taking orders and doing stuff like that. And I was like, excuse me, Flo? <laughs> and like the, all of. <laughs> All of the like regulars, like it was like one of the, like I said, I was like sparsely in there, so a lot of them didn't know that I was like her husband, and uh, <laughs> just the way they looked at me was so fucking funny. Like I, I love uh, awkward situations like that, like a bombing with a joke, or uh, you know, <laughs> nobody understanding the context of what you're saying something in, and uh, yeah, they. Uh, They thought I was being a complete f fucking jerk ass to like one of their favorite waitresses. <laughs> Excuse me, Flo. Still with me? Fuck. Okay. Anyway, that has a familiar ring. <laughs> I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please. Tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, how do you like them evidences, bud? Yeah, this is pretty damning. Yeah, they were Especially upset, Lord. This last bit the, about destroying was, uh, the slave. And you confronted Hope about this? Out of context, it, it didn't seem very not rude. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. The Have prequel was better than the game. sequel. Yeah, Enough honestly. Uh, uh, the yeah. Easy for you to see. I can see what you're saying, you but you know, Marshall. having the original, you know, having Not yet, but you Daniels and Carrie back. Wow, really top tier. Here, there's one last piece of but nothing beats the you know original, in my Emma, opinion. Would you please? With pleasure, Marshall. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged free star ranger? Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Free Star Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the oh, rank. Oh fuck yeah! See now, be top Thank vanguard you, and Fox. a Free Star Ranger. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown hey, everybody is pretty good though, Lord. Fearless tenacity. I mean, I know you're memeing, but like, it's not a, it's not bad. Citizens. At least it wasn't when it came out. And By I don't know, like, if they were, like, the mean to the dogs, governors, like, that always changes my opinion you to the if animals are mistreated on sets. Wear it with pride. Yeah, I saw don't it as a kid. The solemn responsibility it represents. Or at least I remember it from Thanks when I was a kid. Thanks to my own personal biases against the Free Star Collective, I was skeptical when you originally accepted the appointment. But seeing you in this moment... <laughs> I have to admit that I am bloody proud of you. Well done. All right. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Welcome. Right. Ah, oh, thank you. Take care of yourself out there. Oh, thank you. Oh, shit. There's a huge difference between being prepared and carrying too much. Congratulations. The promotion's well earned. Um... So we have... That outfit? Ooh, their spacesuit does look kind of dope, actually. The Justifier? Ooh. 
Ooh wee. We got our badge. Let's drop this. That was not enough of a difference here. Um, the spacesuits here, then. That way we can go back to the ship, drop our shit off. Looks like all of our companions are stoked about what just happened because they want to talk to us. Oh, dude, I always forget the companions in, like, fucking dumping the, the stuff on them. I could have used Sarah, you're right. Oh, son of a bitch. So right now we're just putting away random shit. I had another okay yeah let's just dump all that in there okay now we're down to 100 Damn, there's a lot of this. That helped out. His head fell off. We got no food, we got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. They want their evidence, even though the mission's like over. Yeah, F's in the chat for Petey, yeah. Good call, Nuke Man, good call. I'm glad you guys are into uh, Dumb and Dumber. It's a, it's a great film. Great film. Thank you for the F's. Poor PD. You might be interested in. Yeah, I sold it a billion four C. <laughs> the blind kid? <laughs> I'm sorry, did I not do that right? Okay. Oh. Why is it telling me to talk to Sam Go? We'll do that after this. Okay. Yeah, what's up? Harry, I took care of it. <laughs> So I want to go somewhere where we know somebody. Plug us into the social pipeline. 
I'm talking about a place where the birds flock like the salmon at Capistrano. <laughs> Little place called Aspen. Oh no! I don't know, Lloyd. The French are assholes. It's amazing the key is still in one piece. Am I so out of touch here? Everything seems secure. Hey there. Yeah, nuke man. That John Denver's full of shit. Okay, then just undock then. Undocking complete, Captain. Then where am I supposed to go? Oh, their ship. Well, that makes makes a lot more sense. <laughs> People are going to be talking about this day for a long time. All right. Com Commander seems happier. We have you. Nice work. Let me take a look. A hot tip, huh? What kind of idiot would dig in their heels waiting for a massive payout on some of the cheapest food in the settled systems? I've seen some. Are you watching the eight-hour follow-up effects video? <laughs> nice, Gavin. Well, thank you. I'm trying I'll, to make uh, more. Pass so. it on to my superiors. There should be new ones I'm for sure you. Right on I'm hoping Anything within the else? next couple of weeks I'll get another one done. Understood. Not eight hours, but three I'll hours. Uh, new Vegas is what I'm working on. And then, uh, you know, I got like 50 people in the chat, so that's enough people to have, uh, you know, like different opinions and stuff. I'm thinking of doing, you know, like obviously I like to stretch out, do uh, different uh, video games. But I'm thinking about, like, because in my first uh, set of those Fallout videos, it was, like, useless Fallout facts, so it could have been from any Fallout game. But, like, I'm thinking of just doing it, like, there's, um, there's channels out there that are, that do it the way that I would like to. Like, Captain well, Excellent, we'll get underway. and, uh, that, that, there was another one. Fuck, there's another one. Oddhead. Um, where they, like cover multiple games in one video and I'm thinking about doing useless facts about like multiple games in one video that's what I'm getting out of here <laughs> wouldn't always be easter eggs like those guys do I'm, I'm just saying like the same kind of useless facts that you're used to and then we can make you know split those off into their own separate games yeah, we'll see how it goes but right now I'm working on a new Vegas one I need to oh you know what I bet you he's back at the lodge picked up something you might be interested in with free and mustard man Woo -doo -doo -doo. any troubles <laughs> you need to share mustard <laughs> okay um fishing for a handout eh <laughs> Well, Gavin, uh, uh, thank you for stopping by the to you the stream and uh, subscribing to the channel, man. I appreciate it, and for checking out uh, the videos. Look at this place; it's just as we left it. You know, I've often wondered who keeps the lodge so meticulously clean. What's well, new? I can't imagine how hard it was to be under all that pressure. A leader knows that protecting regular folk is not just a responsibility, but a Yeah, I hope the new uh, Fallout series is good, too. Uh, we'll be able to see tomorrow uh, evening. So, we'll see what's up. Modest, too. They're going to make a statue out of you. Or carve your face on a moon or something. <laughs> what you did took nerves. 
Befriending Delgado like that, it was a huge risk. If he had gotten to you, convinced you to side with them, I don't know what we'd be dealing with right now. Good. He deserved what he got for what he did and That's for right, what Barrett. he would have done. And if they regroup after all this, they'll be weaker next time. All thanks to you. That's the hope and the dream. But if they do, we'll deal with it. Simple as that. Okay, then there was others that wanted to talk to me. Andraja. She's here too. Hey, let me know when you're ready to take me along with you. Should only be a few years. Uh, okay. In the end, you chose the UC over the Crimson Fleet. Do you believe that was the right choice? I can respect that. I am no supporter of the United Colonies, but I also could not bring myself to side with the fleet and what they represent. Did getting that close to Delgado and the fleet make it difficult at all? It can be harder to act against someone once you get to know them. Perhaps. I would not have minded seeing him in pieces. But the prison will suffice. It would be foolish to think, though, that we have seen the last of the Crimson Fleet. Yeah, you're probably we right. We may have eliminated the leadership, but there are many more pirates out there. That is true. Life has not suddenly been made easier for everyone. Yeah, Walton Goggins does seem victory. to be the for crowd now, favorite. You should enjoy the your hard-earned victory. You have done a service for all of the settled systems. Nice, Lord. Yeah, well, I've romanced uh, Sarah Morgan this run, so... They probably wouldn't take kindly to me... Trying with... on. Wait, what the fuck did that just say? We already did this. You are straight out of one of those. Hey, film Paul Denis, good to see you. Working undercover and thwarting the bad guys. <laughs> no, Sarah says my love and stuff like that too. Problem. Sarah gets really intense about it, it actually. And you did the job anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong, helping Sistef was never on my bucket list. Commander Akande, he really wasn't as much of a tight ass as I was expecting. And ultimately, he had your back. So I guess here's to Sistef. Who would have thought that, right? I just wanted to say, when we first teamed up, I had a good feeling about you. But this... You really helped people. Yeah, Sarah helped does. Everyone. I can't wait for I'll try to get her to after this conversation. The two of us make quite the pair, eh? I feel like I'm a better person because of your commitment to gently guide me through life. If it keeps us close, then I'll gladly say those words every time you ask. Uh, she'll pipe up at some point. How <laughs> use jetpacks during sex? How would that benefit the act, though? Seems like it would be more of a hassle than. Not. Jerk packs. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, talk to you. You reconsider my offer? Ready to set off? To the Voli star system, then. 
I admit I'm a little excited. Watch the boys to answer that question. Uh, well, I've heard good things about the boys. To neon we go, boys. <laughs> That's as good as money, sir. Those are IOUs. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> Oh wait, I think I talked to him out here. I'm just running off. Nah. Smell that? Construction. Incense. Industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. Quite true. But also opportunity. Our opportunity. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. All right. Well, then let's go already. Big shell out here. I didn't. Follow the rules or wind up like a shark. I didn't know I had a bounty. That's interesting. I'm trying to think of where I'd clear that here. Because there's terminals for that, but uh. Fill out an application People joke, say those for room and salads portions. I see what you did there, Patty. Stroud Eklund makes some of the finest ships in the settled systems. I'd love to get a look at their operations. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Stroud, you are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled system. Yeah, Edgar, uh... They design personal It definitely seems influenced by Cyberpunk 2077 The City of Neon. For sure, it definitely seems that way. It's a completely way. different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. I see my partner has brought a labor dispute to my office. No, I did not. Look, this isn't the time or the place. All right, calm down, everybody. I don't see a reason we can't have this discussion. I won't belittle your position with some speech about how Stroud Eklund pays people more than average, or our years of charitable contributions. The fact is, the invisible hand of the market does not give out its gifts equally. We are literally in a tower, standing above the streets of the city. The metaphor isn't lost on me. So soon? Very well. Where did you two meet, Walter? I'm intrigued. Oh, going to change the subject so I can't give my opinion, Issa. <laughs> Typical. Jesus We're both Christ. part of Constellation, actually. Ah, yes, the daring explorers. 
my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Sarah's mad because uh, we changed the subject. And so she got mad at me, of course. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Mm, probably. Exactly. You can see how removed my husband is from the groundwork if he's overlooked something so obvious. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is Sounds the broker who knows our cellar. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Ron Hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? Yes. Despicable is too kind a word. He held innocent people with little regard, treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what dreamed of. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Letting him off the hook would have been a terrible injustice. I'm fine. The boy Had you taken the money. This would have been a very different conversation. So, I'm proud of you. It took a lot of integrity to say no to that offer. Yeah, twenty grand is a lot. You would have been better off. No, it's. Oh, she's actually liking what we're saying right now. Especially when it comes at the expense of human lives. Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. I believe we are off to the Astral Edge. Um, what the hell is this then? Investigate the cellar, ask about security. Okay, let's uh, ask about security then. Yeah, Nika, I couldn't believe it either. Oh, right here, I can clear my bounty. All right. She told me I had a bounty. This place is insane! What's this guy's fucking deal? Say, kid. How'd you like to hitch your wagon to a celebrity star? Hmm? That's right. The Mickey Caviar is in the market for a job. And you look like someone who could use a great ship's cook. What do you say? Oh, you're breaking my heart. Ah, this is what a child thinks the clubs are like. Critic. 
Nika. A widely renowned column in the New Atlantean called Mickey Caviar's Taste of Space. Ring a bell? No. Well, there's no accounting for taste. I'm retiring the column in. I have all this new tattoo shit. So, <laughs> it's edgy as fuck right now. Bummer. Who knew cooking was such an unmarketable skill? Hmm. Maybe I could help out somewhere else. I got plenty of other skills. But, uh, yeah. And I'm not afraid to use them. Speaking of Starfield, my, uh, my sleeve is very space themed. We're, uh, we're getting there, boys. Look at you. Making my day. There's just one more thing I'd like to discuss. Uh, my salary. The New Atlantean paid their top talent well. I'm used to a certain lifestyle. 13,000? Hmm. I'm not usually one to bargain. That is a pretty good description. Uh, actually, I heal pretty good with the tattoos, Nukeman, so, uh, but the, yeah, after a few days, uh, lizard, what I call the lizard skin shows up and then you're fucked. A little itchy here. But it's alright. The newest shit I have right now is, uh, coincidentally, it's like an eclipse or something like that. Um, behind this ringed planet, this right here is the new bit. And, uh, that was not because there was an eclipse, it's just my tattoo artist has been adding different space things and then we have these like bubble-like uh, things going on here. So. Uh, I guess I, you know what? Just for funsies. I'll make it big and show you. Yeah, anyway, this like eclipse number. These bubbles. Right. And then uh, up here. The galaxy's really coming into effect. Hopefully you can see it. Anyway, yeah, we have a lot going on right now. I got that eyeball back there too that you guys can see pretty well. Anyway, yeah, thank you, Nuke Man. Uh, they're, they're, it's coming along. I only have a couple more sessions left until we think the sleeve will be done. In my experience, the right offer is always worth waiting for. If you don't like it, find someone else to deal with. Uh, wow. Then it's too late. Fine. Then it sounds like... He's just on there now. How do we have room for more? No. I'm gonna take a lap. <clears throat> yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Nika, I wouldn't say never. Commercial space travel's becoming... Like, more and more of a reality. Um, it's, and I'm not, you know, like, it's not like we'd see in this, you know, it'd be like the way, uh, Jeff Bezos sends people up, but, uh, you know, never say never. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. I like Nika yeah, calling attention we'll to now, I'm not all the lie. things that are different is a bit about like a real club versus <laughs> this. Can you really the next time we take a little break, skin, I'm gonna put some lotion on these tattoos actually. They're starting to be a little pissed off. Which means I may have to uh, just rock the tank top as a like, wife Peter, but I don't want to do that. Look fucking like a slob. I mean, more so than I already do. 
The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked. Hey, well, Nika, well, nothing's impossible, man. If that's something you really want to do. You can achieve it. That, that that is not out of the realm of possibility. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. A loss leader. I make you pay less now in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Yes. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Okay. Enjoy the lounge. Check the yes. door controls. Excuse me. Scram, I'm on duty. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see if that fits anywhere else. Nope. Oh, hey, I got the cyber jockey achievement. Nice. Nice. See what kind of information you can get off of there. Where the fuck am I going? Okay, so now we're getting, we're investigating the cellar here. Making a purchase today? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I've helped you before, dude. Information isn't usually free. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay. 230 hours on I Assassin's Creed much. Valhalla. But I did have one of You've my just been playing the mainstream the DLC. Yeah, they're very big games now. The Assassin's Creed uh, one. ones. They're out right down the unit Good it. games, though. Bro does have that Todd Howard fade. You are right about that, buddy. That James? I don't want you Here's an idea. No splash, no damage. 
but 100% surveyed, which is why I did that. Right now we're uh, I'd be making getting an artifact that I believe someone stole when they're trying to sell us uh, this artifact here in Neon. And uh, Nika has a fear of the deep ocean. I don't blame you. Preparations coming to the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting. After we get this artifact, I'm oh, gonna. I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Take Just a little leg stretch and break again. Have a little bit of uh, smoke. I like to make sure I stand up and move around during streaming, so that's why, like every two hours or so, I'll, I'll do something like that. Uh, have a little smoke. I'm gonna put some lotion on my tattoos too. So they feel a little rough. Okay. Here we go. Job to do. Also, just making sure that we don't have any skill points. Or Sometimes I uh, level up and don't see it. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Code phrases? Goodness, Walter, I think you're taking this espionage business a little too seriously. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Okay. So we're looking with people, uh, looking for people who have briefcases. Large briefcases. I'm busy drinking. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Hey, wanna dance? I just 
just saw Arsena walk by. Good job. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. Got it. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes Patty as long as it's trying to get hands. wasted on that not dead. space liquor. What's that sound? And this'll be fun. I find matching wits with the neon underworld. To yeah, Lord, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to share a conspiracy theory if you want to talk about that. Who cares? Especially if it's related to the game. Oh, no, you're talking about IRL shit. Yeah, but yeah, dude, I don't care. Do whatever you want. Not interested. Is Billy so Bayou here? Stroud. Son of a bitch. You look different in No, person. that's Stroud, okay. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. To assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah. Well, look at that. What? And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. 